What's up, YouTube? It's your girl, Shawnee, and welcome back to the Women's Palace Say. Okay, so I want to welcome all my new subscribers. Welcome to the family. I'm super excited to have you guys here. I know I really don't interact with you guys, but that will be changing, okay? Because I've been really making videos for TikTok and Instagram, but... I thought about y'all today because I'm like, okay, it's kind of growing, okay? So, um, welcome, you guys. If you're new to the channel, welcome. I want to go ahead and encourage you guys to hit the subscribe button. Come a part of the family. I want to encourage you guys to like the video so it can get out to the people that it needs to because you guys are like, I mean, you guys are watching, but you guys are not liking, and we have to work together if we all own the same kingdom, right? A kingdom divided cannot stand. So, it doesn't cost you anything to like the video so it can get into the algorithm and help other people you want to help your brothers and sisters get the information because we are against the kingdom of darkness which is ignorance and only knowledge can help us overcome this kingdom okay so let's go ahead and get into this video so i just want to add real quick to what i talked about yesterday about these spirits right so i was in nearby a six this morning and I was reading, go read all of Nehemiah 6, okay? But basically the backdrop, these people, these spirits tried four or five times to get Nehemiah to come down off this wall, right? They were talking before... If you read all the chapter, they was lying. They were saying a little stuff to get people to come down. And let me tell y'all, these spirits will go so far to come in the name of the Lord, baby. They be corrupting this gospel. They be perverting it. And... <clears throat> God made me realize these spirits are not going to just stop like that. So you have to be mindful of their tactics. You have to be mindful that they're going to turn it up a notch. When you don't entertain it the first time, that don't mean it's going to stop. It's not going to stop just because, oh, okay, I'm just going to ignore it. No, they're going to turn up the notch. Okay. I was thinking about how, baby, the people won't even like each other, but the fact that they don't like you, they're going to come together. These spirits get together. That's one thing about the kingdom of darkness. They're there in unity. It's the body of Christ that seems to have the problem with unity, but they know the power of unity. So if, even though they don't like each other, they know that they don't like you. They know that they're going to try to bring you down. So they're going to try to, they're going to get together and try to figure out, okay, how can we destroy this person? How can we get this person to come off the throne that God put them on spiritually, right? And if you don't believe me, go read up in second Kings somewhere about Jehoshaphat. And I think his name Jer Jeroboam. He, Jeroboam didn't even like Jehoshaphat, but he know his enemy was coming. So he go read your story. Go read your Bible. You'll find it up in there. But my point of saying this is you have to understand that these spirits are not going to stand down the first time you ignore them. They're going to turn up the heat. They're going to keep trying the third time and the fourth time and the fifth time to get you to be able to notice them. They're literally like little kids and grown folks bodies sitting here in the spiritual room. Hey, look at me. Hey, look at me. Hey, look at me. Like they really want you, they baby. These people will make up lies about you. Like it, it will blow your mind. Like and it, 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 I laugh. I have been laughing because of certain stuff I've been hearing. Quite frankly, it's just like oh, okay, because you gotta know, you gotta let God do the vindicating. Like we cannot engage in certain stuff. And that's where the lack of knowledge come because so many times we want to protect our name. So many times we want to defend ourselves and we don't realize that this is a spiritual battle that the enemy uses gossip. The enemy uses lies. That is a tactic from him. And I was ignorant of this. You know, you indulge in gossip and I heard this and what well, you engaging in that. And we forget that gossip is a sin, but we don't want to talk about that. We just so used to it because the God of this world has made it common. The enemy is after making sin common. So when we indulge in it, we don't think nothing of it. When we don't realize that we're indulging in sin and the fact that you are going against God, you, you automatically by default allow curses to come upon your life. When you don't realize that the spirit is using you to try to destroy somebody else when it's you that's going to have the problem in the end because guess what when judgment come to you the enemy backs up he ain't got no parts in that then the enemy has no loyalty and a lot of people even even if it's subconsciously or consciously people some people knowingly serve the devil and some people are blind they're blinded. You know, they don't really know. But even then, when consequences come out, the enemy backs up. He don't have no loyalty. The enemy is out here using people and throwing them away when he has no use to them. And so many people just out here, they don't realize it. They think it's, oh, I just don't like her. Why? 
Like, that's one thing about God had to make me realize. You got to start checking yourself. Why is it that I feel jealous? Why is it that I'm mad? Why is it like you got to ask because these are spirits. It's a spirit trying to hop on you and a curse without cause cannot come upon you. So you have to start asking yourself, what is it in me? What is it that I haven't healed or what unforgiveness, baby? Let me tell you something. That's a whole that brings a whole different type of curses. And I'm everywhere, but I'm really just allowing God to flow right now because people don't realize that they are being used. People don't realize what's actually taking place when certain people team up and come together against you. <laughs> you know you're powerful when people got to team up just to come against you because greater is he that is in you than he that is in the world. See, people are when you are ignorant of who you are, baby, the enemy takes full reign over that. Oh, she's ignorant. And a lot of people try to want to fit in. I used to be that. Nobody really liked me. And if I'm going to be honest, I got my book coming out that I, I let everybody tell their story, baby. I'm telling mine. I'm exposing myself. I'm going in in my book. like, And that's why it's taking so long because the art, baby, is being critiqued. But anyway, when you realize you got to start waking up to things, the spirits behind these people. You will stop getting so caught up on the people because that was me. This and they and they and mm -mm. (laughs) you must ain't read your book. And one thing I got to say, as I've been working, like doing God's work, people been coming for me like that ain't the Bible ain't true. But let me tell you, all y'all got to get rooted and grounded in your belief system. That's why you got to have a relationship with God, because I don't care what people say about Paul and all this. When you have seen the word come flesh, the word became flesh. Can't nobody tell you that's a fib. You can't say that's a fib when that stuff became flesh in my life. So how does that make sense? When things, when you're reading scriptures and it's telling you your life, when it's identifying you in your life story, how, how, how is the world predicting? How is the Bible predicting things 2000 years ago or however long ago it was and it's playing out right now? How? Sit with that because that's another tactic from the enemy to get you so caught up on. Oh, his name was Yeshua, Jesus, baby. (laughs) All I know is every demon is bound to Jesus, Yeshua. So I don't care what name it is. Sometimes the enemy gets you so caught up on the silly things, thinking everything is defiled. And let me tell you something about God, baby. He pulls up and lets you know because there was somebody in my comments talking about the book ain't real, ain't no spiritual battle, da, 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 right? Everything is defiled, the human language, English, all this, right? God, God had me go to, uh, was it second Titus? Something where it says to him who his mind, I'm paraphrasing, mind is defiled, everything is defiled. But to him who is pure, everything is pure. Paraphrasing. But in that sense, he made me realize some people mind are so defiled. The enemy has defiled their spirit so much. That they think everything defiled. <laughs> Not long when life flows from you. <laughs> what you thinking, you don't even understand it's because you're defiled. <laughs> like, people don't even realize how the enemy is using them. How they're really puppet masters on a string. And he's using them. To come against God's children. And one thing I had to realize. And people are not understanding. God mean it when he says. Touch not my anointed and do my prophet no harm. A lot of people think it's, it's, it's physical. Oh baby you must not know about the spiritual. You putting your mouth on his kids. <laughs> okay. You gossiping about his kids. You coming against his kids. Because I had to realize on why Jesus said. Forgive them because they know not what they do. You coming against God, but see the enemy has you so carnal that you think you coming against a person, but what spirit is backing that person? But see you, the enemy have your mind so wrapped up in carnal things that you don't even realize you're putting yourself in a battle that you're not going to win. It's not necessarily about the vessel, but it's about you coming against God's people when he told you not to. You got the enemy using you, got your mind so boggled and blinded. Because you're so carnal thinking, I want to be the it factor and I want to show and this and this and that, that you don't realize you're being used like a puppet. And when it's time, when judgment day comes, the enemy going to act like he don't even know you. And then what? I got to say what I, <laughs> I got to say what I had heard the other day. And I was laughing because I was like, God is really like people think God, people put God in the box and we cannot do that. You feel me? And 
I heard somebody say like the Will Chris, I mean the real Chris, the Will Smith and um Chris Rock thing where Will Smith <laughs> slap. I'm not laughing. God, please help me out with this. The Will, uh, the Will Smith slapped Chris Rock and he was like, keep my wife's name out your mouth. I see God, like, <laughs> I heard somebody say, I see God doing it to these spirits, talking about keep my children's mouth. I mean, keep my children's name out your mouth. <laughs> I'm not really laughing. It's just the thought of it that makes me laugh. But I'm really being serious right now. Like, you feel me? It can be laughs and jokes because God has a sense of humor. People put it, oh, God, is just this mean big God. No, because <laughs> you got to think about it. And that's one thing I was thinking about. You got to know God the Father and you got to know God, your, your creator, your manager. You feel me? Because God plays different majority of roles. He's not just this one category. You feel me? Yes, he is your, your maker, your creator, but he's also your father. So he has that father side to him, but he also has that part of a manager because we are doing his work, right? And um, what me saying that is you got to know the part where when he comes to his kids and when it's the laugh, it may be the father and then he's the God of the manager. So understand the roles is what I'm saying. But back to what I'm saying so I can go ahead and wrap this up. Start evaluating yourself. The enemy has you looking at everybody else. And I always say this, and I don't really know if people take heed to this. Stop worrying about what other people are doing. Stop worrying about what he doing or she doing. And he, Because the enemy wants you to get so caught up on those things that you never look at yourself. Because if you look at yourself... Baby, you're going to see the demons that's attached to you. You're going to see those spirits. And I don't care about what people say. People are out here fighting demons and some people up to sleeping with their demons. Okay? We, it, it, it's spiritual warfare. You got to kill all of them. Ain't no patty cake, patty cake and because they making me feel good. Them people, don't, <laughs> the devil has no loyalty. As long as you're doing what he wants you to do, he's good with you. But once you get to a point where you're using you for is no longer working, bye. But guess what? You still got to answer for that. So I'm taking this both ways because at the end of the day, flesh and blood is not our enemy. It's the spirits. And a lot of people are blind and some people are knowingly. I'm not talking to the people that are knowingly because I had to realize that Satan have seed. If you go read up in Genesis, he says your seed against her seed, which means it's some people in this world that is not human. But that's that's a total different topic that a lot of people are not ready for. So I'm not going to even touch on that. Some people ain't redeemable. Why? Because they're not human. Okay. So anyway, like I said, this goes both ways. <laughs> we got to work together at the end of the day. My, my enemy is not you and you are not my enemy. But if I can help you to realize that you are being used and help you to see the light and go to the light, go back to your father, then you win. You feel me? Because ain't nobody losing but you. A lot of times we get caught up on this carnal thing when you don't realize this stuff is temporary. What you don't see is eternal. So start to look at yourself. And for the people that is in the position where people are coming from you, be like Nehemiah. I'm not coming off this wall for you. Who are you? This person, what he say? Hold on. I'm about to give y'all the scripture. Let me put this disclaimer out here because you think you can read until you read the Bible. Okay, so... Now we come to pass when Sam Ballad and Tobiah and Jishim, the Arabin, and the rest of our enemies heard that I had built the wall and that there was no breach left therein, though at the time I had not set up the doors upon the gates. Baby, one thing you better know is that these spirits know. A lot of times we get so carnal that we forget that it's a spiritual realm and that you can make waves in the spiritual realm and be in your house. Okay, so... That the Samballot and Gishin sent unto me, saying, Come, let us meet together in some one of the villages in the plain, the plain of Ono, whatever. But they thought to do me mischief. What I say? Spirits come together. We got we to gotta go try. We got to go try. We know we're going to lose. I mean, but what do we have to lose? We know our end. So why? what, what, what makes any difference if we try? You know, we can live, we can send them a little extra spiritual warfare. Okay. So it says, and I sent messengers unto them saying, I am doing a great work. What is the work? God's work. God's work is a great work, whatever it is. And do not despise small beginnings. And so that I cannot come down. Why should the work cease? Why should the work stop? While I have, while I leave it and come down to you.
why should I stop what God have called me to do? Especially because we living in the end times to address what you talking about, to address these rumors, to address these accusations. God says, sin, sin will know that I am God. Now go run your mouth and try to defend your name. <laughs> Vindication belongs to the Lord. Yet they sent unto me four times after this sort. And I answered them after the same manner. <laughs> Ignore them folks. Okay, it says, then sent Sam, Sam Ballot, his servant unto me in the like manner, the fifth time. This goes back to the original thing of this video. It may be a long video, but baby, if you stay to the end, you got blessed because there's plenty of gems in here. Okay, but anyway, these spirits is not going to just stop like that. But what did Nehemiah do? Sent them the same manner. I'm not entertaining you because what you really want me to do when you start to look spiritually on this, it's not about you. Because when you start to realize a lot of people are so caught up on who they are, it's not about you. It's about the kingdom of God versus the kingdom of darkness. He's trying to stop what God is doing through you. And when you start to stop thinking so highly of yourself, because God had to really humble me, because when you think about it, if you were be like the world, if you would just fall into sin, they don't have no problem with you. So what is the common denominator of the people that they don't like? The spirit of God, the things you are doing for God. Okay, so I wanted to add this in here because as I was editing it, I kind of got a whiff of somebody kind of like saying, um, what do you mean don't think so highly of yourself? Have the confidence as I speak about, right? But don't think so highly like it's you, it's you, it's you, when really it's the God within you. Have your confidence. I'm not saying cast away your confidence or don't think that you're nothing. That's not what I'm saying at all. But what I am saying is understand the spiritual battle. Don't get so caught up on you as an individual. But the who you are in Christ is who they're after. They're not after poor say you and your physical and how you look and how you dress and what you have. It's after the spiritual aspect. So what I'm saying is for the people that will try to compact this don't think so highly of yourself as i'm the it factor and it's me and it's me just carnally thinking but think of who you are in christ is who they're after not necessarily you the person but the spirit you possess the spirit that is with you so when you start to realize this on a spiritual level, it's the things of God. He wanted him to come off this wall because he heard of what God was doing through him. We are God's hands and feet, just like some people are the enemy's hands and feet. You will start to realize they're trying to get you off what God has called you to do. They want you to come down off the wall. The wall is symbolic of what God has you building. I think about the ark. A lot of people are building their arcs because the rain is coming. It's something coming to this land, but that's a different topic for a different video. I'm not going to speak on that, even though I've been having plenty of dreams about that. Make sure you're building your arc. That's a side note. Do not get caught up in the distractions. Don't get caught up on what people saying to you, saying about you, the accusations, the lies, because the lies is going to be outlandered. Baby, I didn't heard some things about me and I just be like, hey, hey, hey. Okay, <laughs> I never knew that about myself, but I guess because it's, it's, it's all for a purpose. You got to know people who are spiritually awoken, people that are on God's side. Know what's up. The only people that's running with them lies is the kingdom of darkness. And quite frankly, why does it matter? God had to make me realize, Shanice, why, why does that matter? When we all die. Are we going to be like, did you hear? We're going to be in heaven and other people going to be where they at talking about, did you hear about what they did? Or did you hear about how she lived? No, <laughs> no, that ain't going to matter. <laughs> That's not going to matter. These lies, like God is going to vindicate you. When you realize everything in the dark must come to the light, God is going to vindicate you. God means what he says. God is on his timing though. And sometimes his timing may be a year or two. And you got to be fine with that. You got to be fine with being silent and building yourself while you letting other people believe what they believe. Because at the end of the day, the truth will reveal itself. The fruit will fall. Rotten fruit is going to fall by itself. 
A lot of times we always try to find ourselves. And I want to sit on this for a minute because that was me. I always felt like I had to defend myself. I always felt like I had to be able to get the story right. But when you realize these spirits going to believe what they want to believe anyway, why are you wasting energy that you need to be building that wall? That you need to be building that ark? Because there's something coming to this land. And if you ain't ready, you're not going to have nobody to blame but yourself. Because a lot of times, I always felt like God got me. Yeah, God got you. But God also sends, you feel me? He makes provision. He tell, what did he tell uh, Joseph to do? Prepare. Seven years, you're going to have plenty. Put some up. God is not out here out the blue. You'll be, you be ignorant and trying to be in the world and try to prove yourself. And you don't realize that God is calling you to build the ark. Think about it. If Noah would have never built the ark, when the rain came, then what? So you got to start to ask yourself, I cannot put my energy. It, we're living in the end times. I don't care what nobody say. I stand 10 toes down on that. I believe it's the beginning of the end times, but we're living in the end times. You don't know the day. You don't know the hour. So you do not have time. You do not have energy that you need to be putting into building your art to be going to try to defend your name. Know who your defender is. God got you. That's why you got to be able to build your faith. In him, build your relationship in him. Because when you know whose you are, you don't care about what these peasants is talking about. Take that spiritually. I'm not calling people. I'm calling these spirits peasants. I'm not finna address you. I'm not coming off my spiritual throne to address no peasant. You got to stand 10 toes down. And this is where your relationship with God, your relationship with God builds that confidence. I call it confidence. A lot of people call it confidence. Because it's not confidence in yourself. It's confidence in what God told you. God is not a man that he shall lie. God said, I will fight for you. Be still. And that's not literally physically. That's a posture. I'm not going to, uh, what, what? I'm not going to address nobody. Be still means be silent sometimes. You ain't got to speak. When I turn up the heat, go deeper with God. That's all. Go deeper with God because one thing God always make me realize, Shanice, I ain't start nothing that I didn't finish. I made known the end from the beginning. So I already got this plant out. You sitting up there tripping. I'm not. I already know what's going on. I already know how it's happening. But I need you to understand who I am. Don't put your trust in yourself. Put your trust in me. And yes, you're human. You're going to feel away. You're going to have emotions. You're going to go get mad. Yes. But guess what? Take that to God. Sit on the father's side of that. But understand in this spiritual warfare ain't no feelings. Ain't no feelings and laws and principles. You don't go into a courtroom with feelings. So you go to your father. Know your pos his positions. As a father, I'm hurt. As a father, I don't understand it, God. As a father, I'm upset. I don't understand why you can't just tell them, God. I don't understand it. Jesus was in the flesh. He, he, can, he can relate he can comfort you. But guess what? You reflect in that. You go run to God. You don't go run to people. You don't try to go run your mouth and tell them. You don't indulge. Go Don't go do indulge with the pigs. Because you mad. Go gossip to God. Because that's one thing about God. God will listen to you. You ain't gossiping. <laughs> I don't like your people. This baby me. God, I don't like your children. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. And guess what? He'll take all that. And then after... But God, I don't want to feel this way. Take this up out of me. I don't want to have unforgiveness in my heart. I don't want this bitterness in my heart. Give it to God and he'll take it away from you. Learn. This is all about being strategic and understanding. I got to choose because the enemy wants me to indulge in the pigs. And when I say this, I'm talking about spiritually, the prodigal son. We all are the prodigal sons, right? When you think about him eating with the pigs and all that, all that's really symbolic of indulging in sin. You low below what God had for you. You are kings and queens and you indulging in sin, things that are beneath you. You down there with the pigs and that's what the enemy wants you to do. He want to get under your skin. He wants you to be so in your motions that you run to the pigs bin just to give the pigs a piece of your mind when you don't even understand. That is a disgrace. <laughs> For the pigs to even be trying to speak to you. You run to your father because we are human and we have an emotion, emotion. So that's expected. 
But you got to know, okay, I got to go run to my father. I'm upset about it. Yes. But that don't mean I'm going to tell you that. Don't let the devil see you sweat. Give it to God. Cast all your cares. He cares. He cares. But you don't see the bigger picture like he do. So after you give it to him, he's going to give you back strength. And he's going to tell you to go back and build your wall, build your ark. Because later you will understand it. You may not understand it now. I'm not, I know what I'm doing. I'll vindicate you at the perfect time. At the perfect time. Okay, so that is it, y'all. I went long below what I wanted to. But I haven't made a video for y'all. Just for y'all in a while. And I wanted to take this time to really sit and give y'all a video. Okay, so go out and be a light in this dark world.